Hell is a terrible place to be, but guess where's worse than hell? Inside the ring with the flyweight Muay Thai champion, Rod Tang the Tank. With his iron jaw and a body of steel, there's nothing you throw at him that he can't take. But after 324 fights and a 72% win rate, all you can do is pray. What makes Rod Tang the most vicious swashbuckling juggernaut at such a young age? How does the Tank destroy the best kickboxers in the world, both physically and mentally? Let's find out. Before this event, Rod Tang had not been tested by anyone as as he had against Muay Thai bantamweights Jonathan Haggerty. The British kickboxer is fast, dynamic, and explosive in the combinations. I have to say he's looking in his best shape yet, and Rod Tang is primed to have a piece of the action. In addition to having the strength of an iron tank for a build, the Iron Man possesses enormous power in both hands. His go-to blows appear to be body shots, which he sends shivers down the spines of his opponents. He defeated former one flyweight Muay Thai world champion, Jonathan the General Haggerty, at one. A new tomorrow, for example, with a barrage of body hooks that ultimately contributed to the Englishman's knockout. Is Smith going to be the tenth opponent inside the circle to lose to Rod Tang's brutal Muay Thai style? In this video, you will find out. Meanwhile, Haggerty gets knocked down. A battle for the ages. Rod Tang unleashes a low kick, but Haggerty is quick on his feet and survives the onslaught of crazy body blows. Haggerty stays on his feet till the fifth round. He gets pummeled from close range by the tank, and the tie wrecking ball just crushes the Brit to a soft, squishy pulp. My God. Rod Tang rains heavy blows nonstop into Haggerty. The referee had to save the day. Haggerty's bleeding, but he's determined to see this fight through. Can he do that? Not when Rod Gang remains the most vicious juggernaut in the ring. Decimation complete. That's one thing Rod Tang's opponents fear the most. They notice his confidence the moment he enters the one circle. And it makes no difference if he's up against a former one flyweight kickboxing world champion like Petchdam, the Baby Shark, Pechindi Academy, or a professional rookie like Tagir Khalilov. To the bloody tank, a fight is a fight. It's all downhill after his opponents realize that they are screwed before they even throw a punch, and Rod Tang boosts his fearsome reputation with mind games. Rod Tang's confidence grows quicker than anyone can beat it down, and his opponents can only wet themselves. In the Fist of Fury showdown, rookie champ Ter Khalilov had the bad luck of being in the ring with Rod Tang. For Khalilov to beat Rod Tang, it would be a major, major upset. Good jabs from Khalilov and a bit of showboating from Rod Tang. He's a step ahead and he knows it. But Khalilov is determined to show the stuff he's made of. Rod Tang just overwhelms people, especially with those hooking shots. Khalilov needs to be careful here. Khalilov has already survived a lot longer than people expect here. Oh, left to right, doubles up with a right. Khalilov is getting pounded like he stole something. His jabs are heavy. He's throwing everything at Khalilov. Spin back slam from Khalilov. He's beginning to look like our somersaulting samurai. Tension Nasukawa there. Finally, Rod Tang has had enough. Call it a great debut for Khalilov, but it is Rod Tang's night and he will deal with Khalilov as he pleases. Rod Tang goes on and on dancing with the rookie. That's what you do when you have 200 plus wins under your belt. Rod Tang wins by unanimous decision. So when you see the flair of the amazing Rod Tang, you'd notice that this is something Muay Thai champions excel at. That's because Muay Thai fighters are experts in many various styles. They are strategists, scrappers, clinchers, and kickers. Regarding the tank, he fully represents the Thai puncher's style, or what they call Moi Mat. The Thai sensation hardly ever attempts a high kick. Rather, like he did against Sok Thai at one Warriors of Light, he sets up his punch combinations with pulsating low kicks or the other way around. A lot of kicking here to create distance from lethal gloves, but not for long. Rod Tang eventually closes in and makes him pay. What's wrong with his shorts? The tank decides to break his balance or his legs. Whichever goes first, back on his feet to see this one out. Sock thy will not give up, and Rod Tang will be counting on it. For until the decimation is complete, this fight will go on. Destruction complete. 
One thing you'd notice is that the Fathalung guy rarely participates in the clinch unless his opponents force him to. But every once in a while, Rod Tang makes one of the cardinal faults of clinching if he manages to get close. He punches from inside the body, opening his head and face to elbows. Does the Iron Man still have the ability to impose his will, though? Why not? Some folks were just not designed to play Bobby Fischer's opponent at chess or defend clients in court. Rod Tang is among those individuals. That's not a jab against the man's IQ. He just prefers to apply his intelligence more practically. It is evident from his 14 consecutive wins in the one championship that Rod Tang relishes the opportunity to take center stage and give an exciting, action-packed fight for the audience. He has little trouble waving his opponents on if they decline to engage. And if it fails, the tie will only apply forward pressure. Rod Tang is only aware of one direction, which is his foe's direction. The destructive puncher's mission is to seek and destroy whenever he steps foot inside the circle. When his opponent attempts to retreat, the Iron Man remains directly in front of them, encouraging them. He follows their every move, following them left or right. Yeah, he's a vicious juggernaut, because moving forward is the only way he swiftly engages, and this frequently produces intense, crowd-pleasing activity, like his performance of the night against Jacob Smith. The Brit is being careful in this round, measuring his punches, keeping his distance from the tank. Smith is every bit of an excellent kickboxer, but against Rod Tang, no one can save you. The Brit is getting bloodied, battered, and bruised. The referee intervenes. Smith gives it another go. But to what end? The stakes could not be higher in the flyweight Muay Thai Grand Prix quarterfinals. In three rounds of battery and devastating assault, Rod Tang maintains the tempo and shows Smith what it is to be Thailand's finest fighter. That's the most vicious kickboxer, still the most respectful with great sportsmanship. He has another performance of the night against Tabares. Tabares wore his long braids into the fight, expecting the time of his life, and boy, did he get it? Rod Tang kept grabbing his kicks, closing the distance, and punishing him. But as long as we live, Rod Tang's complete performance against Jidwo will never be forgotten. On 14th of January, 2023, the tank delivered one of the most amazing slapbacks ever seen in Kalang, Singapore, sealing his reputation as the most vicious juggernaut in one championship. The Chinese kickboxer is determined to deal as much damage as possible to the tank, but we call him the tank for nothing. The next round begins. Rod Tang closes down on his prey, hoping to corner Jidwo, but the Chinese fighter's got the spirit, and he won't back down. Rod Tang goes on to taunt him. Guess who has the bloodied face? As the fight goes on, Jidwo gets even more badly stained. Well, in the final round, three minutes to go. Full taunt mode with so much at stake here. What a wholesome end to a spectacular fight. With 271 wins from 324 fights, Rod Tang is the most vicious juggernaut at 26. Like Buakau and the Muay Thai legends that came before him, Rod Tang remains humble and extremely respectful of his opponents, whether he wins or loses. But if you're to put your money where your mouth is, odds are the Tank will win. Watch what happens when Buakau gets angry. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel for everything MMA. Stay tuned.